sausages, meatballs and French fries are the classic foods of the Ruhr. But the region has more to offer, such as the Residence restaurant in Essen, with two Michelin stars. One of the creations on the menu by chef Henry Bach is a rabbit stuller, which means sandwich in the local dialect. There's no cuisine typical of the Ruhr region. Instead, we've been influenced by many different immigrants to the area. So we just took a product that's typical of the region, rabbit. We've layered it in Italian bread, tramezzini, and seasoned it with a Middle Eastern blend of spices called baharat to create a multicultural dish. The market where Henry Bach shops is only 20 minutes from the restaurant. The selection includes seasonal vegetables from local farms. Like these broad beans, which Henry Bach will turn into a side dish. We all remember the way grandmother used to prepare them, with their pods. And they're not so nice to eat, with a furry feel on the tongue. We'll cook them without the shell, in cream. It's an entirely different flavor experience. A lot of people who taste it say they're wonderful. The traditional dishes of the Ruhr are made with products that workers from the industrial region could grow themselves. Much of the local population also kept small animals for meat, such as rabbits and doves. Right behind the house. A rabbit doesn't need much space. You just build a hutch and they breed quickly, very quickly. So there was always something ready for the pot. The rabbit includes a side dish of broad beans, tramezzini, an Italian white bread with no crust, a pear, spices, a spinach puree and cream. The first step, lightly sauté the fillets of rabbit. Roll out a slice of tramezzini bread and spread with the spinach puree. Then wrap the rabbit in the bread. The sandwich is then wrapped in aluminium foil to meld the bread with the meat. After a few minutes, the roll is ready for the deep fryer, a Ruhr speciality. It's a classic method that's often misused when everything is tossed in, fish, poultry, vegetables, all in the same oil. But it's a good method if you use only one oil for each product. The dish gets crispy on all sides, not like in a pan, where the heat only comes from below. In the oil, it browns evenly. Once the sandwich is slightly golden on all sides, it's put in the oven to roast for six minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Now it's time for the side dish. We're making it without the pods. We'll remove the beans here in the center. They're very delicious. The broad beans are first blanched, then shelled. Then they're cooked in a pot with butter and cream and the pear is caramelized in sugar and butter. The dish is ready to serve. A rabbit sandwich with broad beans and pear. Inside there's tender rabbit meat, outside there's a crispy bread crust, baked nice and crisp. That's mixed with a slight earthiness of the beans and the sweetness of the pears. The ingenious combination of flavors is one of Henry Bach's specialities. Each meal at the Residence offers something to surprise and delight, proving once again that the cuisine of the Ruhr is more than just sausages and fries.